What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the thing prequel mode and right now we're at the very beginning of the first chapter slash level since we just got through the main cutscene that pretty much summarizes what happened on the ship. And right now, yeah, pretty much everything went to shit, people started dying, the thing woke up, started killing people, all that good stuff. So right now we're in the, we're in this area and right now we need to go look for the other survivors so that we might have a chance of surviving, maybe, but yeah. So right now I try to open this chest, but it's locked, so I need to find some keys. I don't think I have the key for this. Yeah, I need to find the keys. They're probably somewhere around in the lockers or somewhere else. We'll see. I'm gonna go do some exploring right now. Oh, it's a map of the ship. It looks faded and well used, but this could come in handy. Press D to view the ship map. The ship is quite big, so you may find this map useful. To navigate a route to the bridge on F3. Alright. How do I view my map? I'm playing on the PS3 controller for this game since this game comes with the joypad and you can play controllers on it and stuff. I just need to figure out. Okay, R1, okay. So we're in F3, right? F1. Wait. No, never mind, never mind. Okay, I get it. Let's see what else is here. Hint, you can use this item from your key items to change the in-game outfit that Natalie is wearing. This is purely cosmetic and has no effect on gameplay. Sure. Let's go try this thing out. What items do I have? I got nothing. No weapons, no ammo, just some food and some steroids for some reason. Alternate outfit. Hmm. I think I'm already wearing the winter standard, so let's see. Crew casual. Okay, kind of like the pajamas, I guess. Let's go... Wetsuit. Eh. Not that real, Not that good. Winter Combat. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, this outfit looks pretty cool. I think I'll stay... I'll keep this one instead. Oh yeah, let me check my skills. Let's see, I got Ignite. Deals no damage, but gives a high chance of setting enemy units on fire. Well, that's pretty good. So let's see my perks. I got Survivor, plus 10% HP, Melee Novice, Armor Proficiency, Sidearm Novice. Can I learn anything? Wait, I don't even got any rank points though. Well, let's see the skills though. Okay, I can learn nothing right now. Not that it matters, no, I need to level up anyways to get some rank points. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy got fucked up. His head's all over the place and his limbs are all over the floor. That's pretty sloppy. Let's go explore these rooms anyways. And plus that scream, I'm pretty sure it was that blonde lady that I got killed in the showers. Let me go search these lockers. Oh, it looks like I found a handgun. Nambu. Empty, empty. Some food. Mercenary. I think that's the outfit. I got some handgun ammo. That's nice. So let me go equip some stuff. Well, it looks like the customization looks very similar. I guess it's the same thing from the first game, the 2.0 version I played earlier. So everything should be fine for me. Ooh, extended mag. Nice. So it looks like I don't really got to learn anything because I still remember pretty much everything I learned from the first two games, so... I'm kind of experienced. When I first started, I didn't know what the hell I was doing with this game, but I eventually got better. Alright, let's see. A bunch of empty lockers, all useless. Great. Bandages. Oh yeah, the supplies. Huh. Since I'm getting the supplies, I imagine there's some type of vending machine around here where I can purchase stuff. Or craft stuff, I mean. Okay, that leads outside. I don't want to stick outside because I don't want to get a fever. Okay, let's go steal some stuff. Armor piercing rounds, that can come in handy. Against the human AI. All these things are empty. Great. Think I already searched this room, didn't I? Yeah, it looks like I searched everybody. I don't think I searched this area yet. So right now, it doesn't seem there's there doesn't appear to be any things though. 
But there's a bunch of dead corpses, though. That's always nice. But not really. Yeah, there's another dead corpse up there with his head blown off. Hmm. It's a bunch of boxes, though. It doesn't appear I can loot this stuff, though. I wonder how many crew members were on this ship before they all got fucked up anyways. They never said how big this ship was or how, how many crew members they had. Like footprints all over the place. Bloody footprints. Med kit, nice. I got a fire extinguisher, that can come in handy. Hmm, this looks breakable, but... Hmm, I wonder if I can break this. Looks like a first aid kit and an axe. Oh wait, I almost missed this. This food can come in handy since the... What's his face? The developer added the starvation method in this thing, so... Yeah, food will be more of a use in this game compared to the older versions. And there doesn't appear to be anything here. It doesn't look like I can steal the clothes, though. I thought I could steal the clothes. That would be kind of cool. Kind of be... It would be kind of weird stealing clothes from dead people, though. What the hell? Alright. Go steal this. Bunch of empty lockers, that's great. Got some soda. Bandages, those will definitely come in handy. Wow, look at all this blood, holy crap. Okay, looks like I haven't explored this area yet. And I think I need a researcher, a high level... Oh, well, nice echoes. Natalie is suffering from starvation. Great. Better go feed her. Let's see. Take some food. I got 14 food. That's great. There you go. That gets rid of that. What the hell is this? Impulse stem. I never heard of that before. Experimental gin ink hypo. 50% chance for extra turn, but skill cost 50%. Huh. Steroids, med kit, some beer. Nothing really useful at all. Let me just ransack this area. Got more handgun ammo, that's pretty useful. I got a tomahawk. I never used the tomahawks in the earlier games, I never found them useful. I think, but I'm pretty sure they have a high chance of bleeding, though. Painkillers, those will definitely come in handy. Go over here. Oh yeah, I need a crowbar to open this. Yeah, I need a crowbar. I might find some more thing lying around somewhere, hopefully. Yeah, this guy definitely looks hostile. If they move like sporadically around like that, they're definitely hostile. I won't attack them yet until I find more group members though. 1v1 is a pretty bad idea in this game. It's a good way to get yourself killed. Fire extinguisher. Looks like I need a key. I need more keys. So I haven't searched these two rooms yet, so I'm gonna go to the right side first. Okay, I'm definitely avoiding the dogs. The dogs are really annoying since they can easily cause instant bleeding, and bleeding out, you lose constant health over time, so yeah, that can be an issue. So I'm avoiding that dog for now. Hmm, a bleed out kit. What's over here? Okay, there's a lot of things here. I'm gonna avoid that area. Yeah, avoid that area. I'm gonna have to remind myself to turn up the brightness a little bit in the videos. It's pretty damn dark. Give me a med kit, anxiety pills. Hmm. I imagine it gets rid of the fear, doesn't it? Nice. Let's see. Oh, the music's changed. It's more chill. Kind of cool, though. 
like at a flare imperial site, or I still don't know what the hell the imp site means, or what the imp stands for. Genetic studies. Found a skill book. Pretty sure that gives me a perk, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Intelligence. Hmm. I think I'll give these, the genetic studies to the medics or the doctors because intelligence is more important on the doctors since they can heal more and they have a higher chance of healing injuries and also treating fear and such. So I guess it's better to give these type of books to the medics slash doctors. So until I find one, I'm going to use it on them. But then again, I'm pretty sure Natalie is immune since she's the main character like the other two games. Alright, there's nothing there. I got that already. Let's go search the middle part. This area looks clear, so it's nice and safe for me to steal some stuff. BRF scope. Crap. I don't think I have the key for this. Yeah, no shit. I need to find keys though. Right now I need some to... sort of code for this. Hmm. I need some sort of code for this. So right now I counter like a bunch of areas with locked doors. I don't, I don't think, think I have, I have the, key the key for this. For this. <laughs> yeah. I got magnum ammo, holy crap. I'm finding all this ammo for guns I don't have. Let's go. Pretty sure this leads somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Oh, a medical mask. Pretty sure this increases poison resistance, doesn't it? Head. Let's see. Yeah, 75% resistant to poison and 50% from fever from enemies. Oh. What? So enemies can inflict fever besides the weather effects? Interesting. No, the hell? Right? Yeah. Um, what's the situation? We've managed to secure this area, but the status of the ship is not good. Whatever happened back in the rec room has spread throughout the ship. To top it all off, the damn comms are down. Well, I think we should make it a priority to keep this area safe. Um, if you'll give me some assistance, I can go and get the comms running. Sounds like a good plan. If you ask around, I'm sure some of the crew will lend you a hand. Until we find Dr. Perkins, I will take charge of the bridge. You should go and speak to Jose. He's been keeping an eye on the monitors. All right, Captain. Radio operator. You should talk to Jose. He might be able to assist you. Rewards, a SIG, a radio, and a side door key. And comms repair. I don't think I went over this mission yet. You need to repair the ship comms. The fuse box has probably tripped. The comms antenna can be found outside. Exit via the map. Floor 3, so... Ah, oh, floor 3, huh? I get 50 experience in antibiotics. And that's the main mission. Alright. Well, it looks like some of the characters from the intro scene are still alive, so that's good. And there goes a blood testing station. I don't think I got a blood pack on me, don't I? Mm, no, I don't got a blood pack yet. I'll find one eventually, though. Let's see. I'm gonna steal all this stuff. Did my flare go out? I'm pretty sure I turned on my flare on. I forgot about that stuff. Don't mind me just barging in your room, stealing your crap. It's not like you're gonna, you're gonna need it anyways. Mm, nothing useful in here. An accuracy stem. Don't worry about the bridge. I'm in command. Here, there. Your voice reminds me of a character. Let's talk to this guy. Standing by. Defending bridge. Assist Natalie. Help me out. So I guess he's in my party, isn't he? Yep. Parkman. You're an engineer, I assume. Yep. Oh, he has one rank point. Let's see. Toolbox. SP cost. Enables this unit equipped light armor. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, some tomahawks. Let's see. 
Well, it doesn't look like he can learn any new perks right now, so... I guess I'll just use him around to fix fuse boxes and stuff. Is it time? Assist me. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I got a doctor. Sweet. Alright, yeah, look at this. Doctors are pretty useful. Let's see, conditioning... Enables the crafting of meds. Nice. What? Oh, he has SP regeneration too. That's a pretty useful skill because... Their SP points can pretty much regenerate over time outside of battle. So you can pretty much heal your teammates anytime. And that can be a pretty useful skill since every time you go into battle, you can get injured pretty easily. And this is also a useful perk gear yet, so you can stack these upon the regular talent perks and they'll keep regenerating even faster. So I'm getting this. Survival lowers infection rate, that's always useful. Scavenger, SP cost. Hmm. Got two more. Let's see. Attempts to force the removal of Fear effects, low chance of poison. That can come in handy because, yeah, fear is kind of an annoying thing in this game. Only one point are required. Hmm. Revive, that can be also useful too. I'll try this out. I got zero now. Alright, looks like I got some decent skills. And Ornelas, let's see. Chemist. Self-healing rate bonus. Okay, that's nice. Oh, he has double axe, sweet. This pretty much enables him to move twice in a turn, so he attacks twice. That's gonna be useful. Let's see. I'll save your rank point for later. Let's go talk to the rest of the crew members. Go talk to this guy. Hi, Natalie. Kim? You're coming with me, pal. Whether you, whether you like it or not. Alright. Now, let's go find Jose. I'm pretty sure he's on the left side. Soda. Yeah, pretty much when you're looting, you just click on everything on the walls, pretty much. I need, I need some, some sort, sort of code, code for this. this. Okay. Um, Jose? Yes? <laughs> um, Stobart said I should see you. Yes, I had an idea. I have been watching the monitors, and I often see survivors in trouble. There aren't enough of us to go and rescue them, so I have a proposal for you. Uh, okay, what is it? Take this radio. If I see anyone on the monitors, I will let you know, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jose. Be careful out there, and take this gun. It's dangerous to go alone. I think you're going to need it. Alright. So, pretty much what he wants me to do is wander around the ship aimlessly until he, he decides to talk to me. Okay, so I guess that side quest is complete for now. And he gave me a gun, so let's see. So right now I need to go to the third floor and fix the comms, so... Yeah, I need to work my way up the ship. So I'm done with that area. Got anything else to say, buddy? I'm keeping an eye on the monitors. Alright, Jose. What the hell? Oh, starvation. Again, Natalie? Holy crap. Oh, luckily I'm gathering a lot of food though, so it's not really a problem for now. But I imagine if you gather a lot of survivors, then your supplies will be very strictly limited. So you gotta learn how to ration correctly. I'm pretty sure that's everybody in this area. I think it was like four or five people. No, it's four people I gathered. Let me just save it quick. There you go. I'm like the lowest level character in this area. 
Let me check my map. So right now I'm on floor three right now. And this leads... Okay, the same area. Just went into a circle, so... Pretty sure I went in here already. Or did I? Oh yeah. Okay, and now I can access this area. I guess that, that's what the side door key was for. Ooh, a US Arctic. That's a pretty good outfit to wear. It, it grants a lot of defense. Let's see. Oh, wait, I forgot. You need armor proficiency to equip this stuff, though. Forgot. I don't remember if it was level 2 or level 3. Oh, yeah, it's medium. I'm pretty sure medium armor, you need proficiency level 2. I should be quick when I go out there. I don't need to catch a fever. Thanks for the pro tip. So, I'm guessing I'm, I'm going right away. Let me just move real quick so I don't get a fever. The hell? Stobart? Did that fix it? Yeah, get back to the bridge so we can make this call. Let me just hurry my ass up so I don't get a fever. Damn it, come on, hurry up. Nice, I made it. I'm not exactly sure how fast it takes, or how long it takes to get a fever. There used to be a timer, but it doesn't show up no more. And I still haven't found a crowbar yet. I need some sort of Crap. code for this. Okay, so right now I need to return to that Stobart guy. Okay, I guess I'll do that right now. Let's see what else he has in store for us. Wait, does this key open the chest too? I don't, nope. Kind of weird how it repeats the same thing. All right, what Harbinger, the hell? This is the Leviathan. We are in need of immediate assistance. Over. Harbinger, does anybody copy? This is a Mayday distress signal. Over. This is Captain Harding of the Harbinger. We received a partial transmission from you earlier and are already about halfway to your last reported location. Over. Harding, this is Stobart. There's a viral emergency. Need evac, over. Say again, Stober. You're breaking up. Harding. Harding. Of course. Well, what's next, Captain? <sighs> I guess we have to wait. Here's a list of priorities for you in the meantime. And Jose will call you on the radio as you explore the ship with updates about events every so often now. Note that he won't call you during cutscenes, so when you're on F3 deck, unless he is calling to update you on the main objectives. Yeah, I was pretty much right about that. Waiting for rescue. It might be some time before your rescue team come to evac you. You might want to think about finding more of the crew and searching for useful equipment. Hmm. Oh, I'm ranked 2. Sweet. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some perks. Scenery explosives. I'm gonna ex equip this one so I can throw grenades and stuff. That'll be pretty useful. Alright, now let's me just save. The hell? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice the timer on the corner, so I'm assuming that's how much time I got left before the rescue team arrives. So I guess I'll make use of that time and just explore the ship for now. 